Okay, stop crying. How old are you? Like six? I am. <laughs> What's this thing about my head? Soulmate is crying. That's your soulmate notifications. You'll constantly be updated on everything your soulmate's doing. Jeez, no privacy. <laughs> oh, Timmy, be quiet, your mother. Brianna, no yelling at Timmy. <laughs> it says now that my soulmate's walking. Now he's going to the bathroom. That can be Timmy. He's so crying. <laughs> Pay close attention to what your soulmate's doing because it may give you hints on how to find him. How could it help me find my soulmate? When it says what your soulmate's doing, you may be given some clues. Yo, Bree. Hi, Jimmy. Want to go on a date with me tonight? Sure, Jimmy. Oh, no. It says that my soulmate's screaming. He must be mad at me for agreeing to go on a date with another man. Too bad. Finders keepers. My soulmate is running? He's running away? He's trying to get away from someone? My soulmate is captured. Oh, no. Jimmy, what should I do? My soulmate's been captured! What are you gonna do? How about nothing? All you can do is hope that your soulmate is going to be okay. Your soulmate is entering the school? How could he be entering the school? I thought he just got captured. <gasps> Let's go. Help! That must be my soulmate over there! Code Red, Code Red, an unknown man has entered the building. Please hide immediately. We need to go hide now! Help me! I need to help my soulmate! Who do you think you are, Superman? Come on! I think we should be safe here. Jimmy, I need to go and find my soulmate. Yeah, sure, once he's safe and sound and... No, now, Jimmy, if something happened to him, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Attention, everyone. I don't mean no harm. There's only one thing I want, and that is Rihanna Gidry. Once you give her to me, I'll release the boy and leave the school peacefully. What is going on? How would the guy know your name? I, I don't know. You must have some idea. Brianna? Soulmate chooses my looks or soulmate chooses my personality. I want him to choose my looks. He'll probably make me look so beautiful. Like Barbie. Ah, it is so not from me here. Oh my gosh, what is this? Lip ring and nose piercings? My mom is going to get so mad at me if she finds out I have piercings. What are my friends at school going to think of me? Off to school already? Yeah, mom, I'm going to school now. What do you have on your nose? Is that a piercing? Did you get a nose piercing? <laughs> hey, Brittany. Hey, Stephanie. I had the worst morning today. Why are you dressed like that? It's so not preppy. My soulmate got to choose how I look. Trust me, I don't want to dress like this. Aw, poor Bree. Too bad you can't hang out with us anymore. I'm really gonna miss you. Guys, you're my best friends. I'm sorry, but you just don't match our aesthetic anymore. Choose soulmate's looks or personality? I'm gonna choose looks. He may not have made me look like Barbie, but I'm gonna make him look like Ken. Who are you talking to? Yo, what's up? Goth, rock, punk, metal. Are you emo? Why haven't we met before? I'm Skull. I'm Cactus. I'm Brianna. I used to be preppy, but my soulmate made me dress like this. So now I guess I need to be friends with people like you. Just because you look the part doesn't mean you're like us. Do you listen to punk music? No. Heavy metal? No. Sad music? No. Do you ponder on the hardships of life and cry? Uh, no. I knew it. Hey, guys. Bro, why do you look preppy? Yuck! No way, I made my soulmate dress just like you! Really? I made mine dress like you! You, you made, made me look, look like this! Good morning! Mom, I have like 10 sweaters on. Why is the house freezing cold? The government released a temperature meter to help you find your soulmate. The hotter it is, the closer you are to your soulmate, and the colder it is, the farther away you are from your soulmate. Where is my soulmate? The moon? It's finally starting to warm up a bit. Not for me, Burr. I'm even colder than I was this morning. I feel heat coming from that way. You should follow it then. It will lead you to your soulmate. I need to go towards the heat. I've been freezing all morning long. It's getting warmer. Follow the heat. What are you doing? I'm following the heat. Oh, it's getting hot. This door, it's like it's on fire. That's where my soulmate must be. Oh my gosh. Why is it so hot in here? Excuse me, are you in the right classroom? What are you doing here? My soulmate's in this classroom! But I gotta go. It is way too hot in here! Ah. Oh my gosh, it's finally cooling down. It's so nice and cool over here, bestie. Says you, I've been freezing all morning. So, did you find your soulmate? No, I found out which classroom my soulmate's in, but I couldn't get close. I started overheating. 
How am I supposed to find my soulmate if it gets unbearably hot every time we get close? Only at first. You two need to introduce yourselves to each other. Once you introduce yourselves to each other, the temperature will become perfect. Why does no one tell me these things? Why is it getting so hot? You're so hot. It's getting so cold all of a sudden. Is your soulmate still breathing? If he's not alive, you'll freeze to death. Wake up! Oh. Hurry, Bree. Introduce yourself to your soulmate. Hi, my name is Brianna. Hello? Hello? I'm still freezing. That's because he also needs to introduce himself to you. Is he still breathing? He's breathing, but he's not responding. He needs to go to a hospital. Now. Yeah. Well, doctor, is my soulmate going to be okay? It's not looking good right now. It appears he's had a heart attack. Oh no, he must have had a heart attack when he saw me because I'm so beautiful. No, he has a history of heart problems. Please wake up. I want to meet you. I have some unfortunate news. We believe this man may be brain dead. He won't be able to communicate and his organs will start to fail. No, doctor. If he goes, I'm going to freeze. We aren't 100% sure, but we're going to run some tests to confirm it. Please introduce yourself to me. I'm going to freeze. Hi. I'm Timmy. I love you. Doctor, doctor, he's responding! I'm going to school now. Come if you want, sissy. If not, I don't care. Just wait a minute. Ugh. Ouchie. Get up yourself. Spare change, spare change. If only you lived in a world where people could be kind. Hey! Sissy, that was really unnecessary. Are you okay, sir? I love you, sissy. I love you so much. Hey, you dropped your pen. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't care. Pick it up if you want. Doesn't bother me. Here's your test back that I'm only giving to you because I'm obligated to. Thank. Thank goodness. Took you long enough. Are you doing okay? I know you're upset about your sister. How do you? Hey, if you want to act kind and get killed, go right ahead. Just leave me out of it. I can't get killed because I'm already dead. I know how to put an end to this kindness law know how to put an end to this kindness law. All you have to do is kill them with kindness. If I act kind, I'll die. You have to kill them with kindness before they kill you. Kindness will only kill those who are evil. That's why they made the law in the first place. So that the evil could continue living. Brianna, why are you staring so intensely at nothing? Just mind your business, Timmy. Let's go to class. Timmy, you're really handsome. What are you, dumb or crazy? Why are you saying kind things? Brian is eliminated. Over. I like your shoes, scary guy. I think the way that you eliminate people is just so cool and amazing. Stop talking. Oh, why can't I move? What's going on? Are you okay? Did you need help with anything? I'm here to help if you need me. I can't move. Brianna, what just happened? We need to get out of here, Timmy. Come on. Brianna, what was that? I know how to put an end to the kindness law. We can live in a world that is kind. We all just... What makes you think a world with kindness is better than this one? Personally, I prefer evil. Timmy. Mommy, can I have a lollipop? No, sweetie. No sweets for you. <coughs> Honey, stop pouting. You need to smile right now. It's the new beauty standard. You need to or else bye-bye from Earth. Good job. Keep smiling. Mommy, can I stop smiling now? My mouth is hurting from smiling so much. That's too bad. You still need to keep smiling. Why do I even need to fit the beauty standard? I'm only a kid. Use your hands and turn that frown upside down. <gasps> oh no, I need to get big lips right away. I already have big lips. There, beautiful. Wow, your lips look so big. Are you kidding me? There, no lips. Sophie, why do you still have big lips? What? The beauty standard changed. Someone doesn't fit the beauty standard. No, my lips aren't this big. It's just makeup. Prove it now or else. I can't. <gasps> Sophie! Was that concealer I saw in your hand earlier? Mom! Use this makeup wipe and prove there's no makeup on your lips. Show me now. You're good to go. You didn't even need concealer. Your lips are extremely thin. Thank you. I think. <laughs> the beauty standard changed again? There. Lots of freckles. <laughs> Timmy, are you okay? Why are you hiding in a corner? 
Shh, I don't want them to find me. I don't have freckles. Don't worry, Timmy. I can help you get freckles. Oh, look. Little Timmy doesn't fit the beauty standard. Brother, this is all your fault! Timmy, no! Huh? Class, I think you all know what you need to do. This is the most painless option you have. Should I go rid of it? Mm, 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 mm. The beauty standard changed again. Being young, what's gonna happen to all the old people? Our teachers, our parents, our grandparents? Mm, 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 mm. I need to call my mom. Mom, whatever you do, don't go out. You need to stay in the house and hide, okay? Until the beauty standard changes. Okay, sweetie. I love you. I love you. Looks like I found an oldie. Old, I'm 17. That's what they all say. Here, my ID. Oh, wow. You look at least 24. Get to class, Brittany. Mm -mm. Mrs. Smith, you need to hide. Did you not see? The beauty standard changed. Oh, no. I didn't even notice. No eyes. Here, Brianna. This should help you with that. What do you want me to do with this? You know exactly what you have to do to fit the beauty standard. After you. All right. I'll go first. But if you don't do it, I'll call the beauty police. You wouldn't. Beauty! Ah! I can't see where I'm going. Mm -mm. Oh. Brittany, what happened to your eyes? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that anyone actually finds these things beautiful? Or are all these beauty standards just for control? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no. Come on, Mom. Pick up, pick up. Mom, I'm calling because this might be the last time you'll ever hear from me. I'm dressed up as an elderly woman right now, but I might get caught. I just want you to know that I love you so, so, so much. Bold of you to assume that your mom will ever get your message. These beauty standards are getting insane. I know they are, because I'm the one creating them. What? You know how many people are gone because of you? How many people you hurt? And what about me? What about the people who hurt me? Sorry? Do you want to know why I created these beauty standards? It was all for a little girl who never fit them. My skin wasn't clear enough. My eyes couldn't see well enough. My lips weren't big enough. And my hair wasn't shiny enough. And because of that, I was made fun of. She has no lips. How will she get a kiss kiss? No kiss for her. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, this table is only for girls who meet the beauty standard. No nerds. I'm not a nerd just because I wear glasses. Too bad. You're still not pretty enough to sit with us. <laughs> when I got older, I started working for the government. They were looking for new ways for population control. So I suggested that everyone must always fit the current beauty standard or else. And because the beauty standard is always changing, no one can ever fit it. And beauty becomes meaningless. Someone here looks very young. It's that young lady right there. You guys really think I look young? I mean, even though she makes the beauty standards, she can still go bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Wait, look, the beauty standard changed again. Ah! There, beautiful. Huh, <laughs> nice makeup. Thanks. Hey, wait, could I get your help with something? Hey, Mrs. Smith, I love your makeup. What do you want now? You know, I'm surprised people used to make fun of you for not being beautiful. I always thought you were beautiful. Really? You did? Yeah, I really did. But you know what? You look even more beautiful without makeup. Here, let me see your natural beauty. What do you think? Do I really look beautiful? You do. The people who used to make fun of you were so wrong. You don't fit the beauty standard. That was a good idea you had. I was getting sick of her. Well, you're in charge now. What will the next beauty standard be? I know exactly what I want it to be. Everyone's beautiful. Nice. Mommy, I think there's something in my hair. An egg! Um... No, don't eat that! That's your soulmate Easter egg! Soulmate egg? Open it, inside will be a letter of your soulmate's name. Why? Look at you, you got one letter already! Each Easter egg will have a letter of your soulmate's name, and once you complete the name, you'll meet your soulmate! Now, it can be difficult to know where to look for your soulmate Easter egg, so you'll be given hints on where to find them. But mommy, what if I found an egg and it's on my soulmate egg? Somebody else's soulmate egg. Don't worry, sweetie. You'll only be able to find the eggs that are meant for you. Okay, mommy. 
I'm gonna look for my soulmate, but not yet. I'm only six years old. I'll start searching when I'm a big girl. That's a good idea. Good morning, sissy. This is the year I'm going to find my soulmate, little sissy. All I have to do is find all these Easter eggs before Easter. Oh no, where are they? I'm in a container with items that look like me, but aren't me. What? I'm in a container with items that look like me, but aren't me. What could that possibly mean? My tummy's upset. Those eggs that Mama fed us this morning were gross. An egg container! Harry, open it, open it! And I was right. Finding my soulmate is going to be so easy. I only need three more letters. What letter did you get? M. <gasps> Oh no, sissy, it's 7.55 a.m. We're going to be late for school. Oh no. Just do it. Oh, thank goodness you're not in class yet, Timmy. That means I'm not late. You're definitely late. I'm skipping class. Oh no. You'll find me where you're standing right now. My shoes. There's no eggs in there. Check your school bag. Maybe it's in your hair. Maybe it's in your clothes. Your ears in your nose. Wait! I think I know where it is. The hint says, you'll find me where you're standing right now. So it must be underneath me. Where? In the floorboards. Wait, you can't just... <sighs> I found it. You can't just rip apart the floor like that. I. Blank I. Blank M Y. It's you! Huh? You're my soulmate. It can't be me. I have a girlfriend who I love. How many letters does your soulmate have? Seven. Timmy, it must be you then. You must be my soulmate. No, I told you, it's not me. Timmy, come back. Timmy! Hey, Brianna, why weren't you in science class earlier? Who cares about class? I'm trying to find my soulmate. You're searching for your soulmate? What a waste of time. The person in front of you has it? Why are you looking at me like that? You have my soulmate egg. No, uh Just give me the soulmate egg, Jimmy. And we're not going to have a single problem. I don't have it. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Jimmy, ah. Jimmy, why does everyone keep running from me today? Oh, no. Jimmy. Stay back. Jimmy, my hint says that you have my soulmate egg. So just hand it over so that I can finish my soulmate Sam and be with my soulmate the rest of my life and get married and have babies. I told you already, I don't have any soulmate eggs. The only eggs I have are the boiled eggs in my lunchbox. Can I have a look inside that box? No, you can't. Jimmy, do you like chocolate eggs? Yeah, I do, actually. Would you like to have them? Sure thing. I'll give you these delicious, yummy chocolate eggs if you let me look inside your lunchbox. Okay, fine. Have a look. See, there's nothing in there but hard-boiled eggs. Wait. What is it? There's an imposter. No way. How did I not notice? What letter does it say? It says M. So, why do you look so shocked? Because, Jimmy, you might be my soulmate. My soulmate's name says blank I-M-M-Y. The missing letter could be J. There's no way you're my soulmate. You're not my type. I gotta go. Jimmy! Jimmy! Why does everyone always run away from me when they find out that they might be my soulmate? Is being my soulmate really that bad? <laughs> Hurry up and catch me, but I might run away from you. It must be somewhere where people are either playing catch or running. Where would someone be playing catch or running? Gym class! Sophie, catch! Got it! Everyone's playing catch in here. Hey, what are you doing here? You're not in this gym class. Sorry, sir. I'm just looking for something. I'll leave in one minute. No, you're gonna leave now. Eugene, ready to catch? That's my soulmate egg! Jake, wait! Throw it here! Um, no. The principal's on his way. You're gonna be in big trouble. Jake, please! Eugene, catch! Ow! You're not supposed to aim Ooh. for my face! Oopsies! Hurry, Eugene, throw it back to me! Eugene, throw it to me! Why would I throw it to you? You're not my gym partner. Do you really want to throw it back to the person that threw it at your face? That's true. Catch! <sighs> yes! The principal's here to speak with you. <gasps> Finally, I found the last soulmate egg. Now it's time to reveal who my soulmate is. Got your soulmate egg! Jimmy! Timmy! Catch Jimmy! Catch Jimmy! Guys, please stop. Just give me my soulmate egg. I've worked so hard to find no, it. No, I won't give it to you because your soulmate's either me or Jimmy, and we don't want to be your soulmate. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure that neither of you are my soulmate. And why not? Because my soulmate would actually want to be with me. Please, give it back. I need to know. Fine, here you go. Please don't be a T or a J. K. The name's Kimmy. Hey, no way, Kimmy's my sister's name. Wait a minute. 
What's on my neck? One, one, six, one? Sissy! Sissy, did you draw on my neck last night while I was sleeping? No, I didn't. Liar! That's your elimination number. Elimination number? It's for population control. How it works is someone is randomly given three numbers above their head and they must choose one to eliminate. Everyone will keep on choosing numbers until the desired population is reached. Well, you guys need to show me your numbers then so I don't choose you by mistake. Two, two, three, four. Eight, six, three, one. Two, two, three, four. And eight, six, three, one. Got it. I'll make sure not to choose those. Sweetie, is everything okay? It's my turn to eliminate a number. What numbers did you get? It's both of your numbers and some random number. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll just choose that one. Hey, Jenny, where's Jake? I miss my boyfriend. He was eliminated this morning. Oh, no. Once I find out who chose five, six, seven, eight and eliminated my brother, they're going to be eliminated next. Why did you seem so shocked after hearing that number? No reason. I'm just so shocked that my boyfriend's gone from me so soon. And why are you covering your neck? Oh, it's nothing. My neck is just a little cold. You're acting really guilty right now, Brianna. Oh, would you look at that? It's my turn to eliminate a number. My options are 8631. That's little sissy. 1161. 4632. Yeah, my number's 4632. So don't choose that one, okay? Prove it to me. Show me your neck so I won't choose that one. I just want to be sure. No, I don't really see the need for that. They're doing two number eliminations at once? What numbers did they give you? One six seven eight three two one four five seven eight seven. Oh no. Are any of those your numbers? Uh, maybe. Well, you should probably stop hiding your numbers so that I don't accidentally choose it. Fine, we'll show each other our numbers at the same time. Ready? Mommy, it's almost the new year. Forget mommy or daddy? No, no, I can't choose. Sweetie, you have to choose before it's the new year, or else you'll forget us both. Five, four, three, two. One. Happy New Year, Mom. Mommy, Happy New Year. Who are you, little girl? Why are you talking to me? I'm your daughter. I don't have a six-year-old. I only have one daughter, and she's 15 years old. Mommy. Oh, no, darling. I think your mother chose to forget you. Who are you? Get away from me, weirdo. That's it. I'm going to get milk. It's that time of year again, Mom. What time of year? Where we choose who we will forget in the new year. Oh, it's that time again? What are your first options? Remember when you chose to forget me when I was six? That was so long ago. You were six years old. We barely had any memories to begin with. But I know you now. I choose. I choose. What were your options? You never told me, sweetie. It was between older sister and grandma. I chose grandma. Good choice. Grandma's old anyways. Yeah. Girl, your fit is so cute. Thank you, bestie. Now, how does my girlfriend get more beautiful every single day? Stop it, babe. What's wrong, Bree? I just got my next set of options. No, no, I'm not going to choose. Brianna, you have to choose because if you don't choose before it gives you the next set of options, you'll forget them both. Who in the new year are you going to forget? It was between Timmy or Jimmy. I chose Jimmy. That's a good choice. Everyone likes Timmy better. I wish my girlfriend was as pretty as you. So leave her and be with me. Don't worry, I will soon. I made the wrong choice. I'm not gonna choose. I wanna forget them both. Oh, babe, you're here. I'm not your babe. Not anymore. Got your pen? Jimmy! Jimmy, catch! Jimmy! Catch, Jimmy! Come on, guys, give me my pen back. Forget Timmy or Jimmy. Hmm... Choose Jimmy! What? No, don't choose me! Timmy's the one who stole your pen in the first place! I'm gonna choose... Jimmy. Jimmy, no! I thought you said you got them as an option earlier, Brianna. Why'd you lie to me? Uh... You know what? Don't even tell me. Bestie, wait! Sophie, let me explain. Why didn't you tell me who you actually chose to forget? I didn't tell you because... I chose to forget you over my boyfriend. Oh, I just got an option. Choose to forget you or choose to forget Emma. I choose. I choose. Bessie, please don't choose to forget me. And why not? You chose to forget me. I know when it was a mistake, but you and Emma aren't even that close. If you choose to forget me, then neither of us will ever remember our memories together. And we won't ever meet again. 
Why would I want to remember someone who chose a boy over their best friend? <laughs> Emma would never do what you did. Goodbye, Brianna. It's one more day till the new year. Almost everyone I care about is going to be forgotten. Forget my cat Oreo or my older sister? No, no, I can't choose. No, I have to choose. I don't want to forget them both. It disappeared. I'm going to forget both of them? 15 seconds until the new year. New year, new me. Forget myself or everyone I've ever known? Brianna, it's almost a new year. Hurry and choose. I'm going to forget myself. Sweetie, I don't think that's a good decision. Happy New Year, everyone! Ah! What are you doing in my house? Who are you? I don't know. Who am I? For some reason, I remember you, but not even myself. You're my mom, right? No, I'm not your mom. I only have one daughter. Oh no, it looks like mom chose to forget you again. You don't know who you are because you chose to forget yourself in the new year. But you know who I am, right? Yeah, you're my older sister. And you don't know your own name? No. Your name is I'm a hog. I'm a hog. So when people ask you your name, you'll say? I'm a hog. Hi, Brie. You don't remember me, but... No, my name's I'm a hog. Um, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Sophie. Sophie, I remember you. You're my best friend, but I thought you chose to forget me. I only said that because I was mad. I would never forget you, Brie. No, it's I'm a hog. Day of the week is it? I forgot. <gasps> Oh no, Jimmy, you forgot! You need to remember before the timer runs out or else you die! I don't know, it could be any day of the week. It could be Monday, Tuesday, Friday... Come on, Jimmy, think! Come on, Jimmy! It's a day of the week that starts with the T. Oh, it starts with the T. Timmy? No, Jimmy, that's not a day of the week! Jimmy, no! The answer was Thursday. Wait... What did I just come in this room for? Oh no, I forgot! Are you off to school now, sweetie? <gasps> My school bag! That's what I forgot. All right, Mom, I'm off to school now. You never said goodbye to me. Uh, uh, what's your name again? Grandma, you forgot? Grandma's getting old. She's becoming more forgetful. It starts with a B. Buddy! What? No, it rhymes with banana. Uh, it rhymes with banana. Uh, nana! Banana for fana, banana, banana. I don't know what else rhymes with banana. Grandma! Don't blame yourself. Grandma's memory has been getting bad for a while now. It's because of her old age. I'm leaving now. Bye, Mom. Aren't you forgetting something? What could I possibly be forgetting? Oh. My lunch. Jenny, your outfit looks so good. What's the occasion? Seriously, you forgot? No, I remember you're going to a funeral. No, you're my best friend. How could you forget? It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Jenny. I can't believe you. Jenny. Psst, Jenny. Jenny. Please forgive me. I'm sorry I forgot your birthday. Hey, Brianna, when Jimmy died, what day of the week was it? How could I remember that, Timmy? I was six. Hey, Brianna, when Jimmy died, what day of the week was it? How could I remember that, Timmy? I was six. <laughs> Come on, Brianna, think. The answer was Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, it was Thursday! Dang it! Timmy, why did you ask me that question knowing I wouldn't be able to remember? The day that Jimmy forgot, you had no remorse for him. Ever since then, I knew I had to get revenge. Timmy, what's the last thing you said to Jimmy? Oh, uh, uh, I don't remember! I'm lying. It was Jimmy no! From now on, Brianna, watch your back. I forgive you for forgetting my birthday. Really? No. What color shirt was I wearing yesterday? <laughs> Good job, Jenny. You guys are trying to get me out together. Your shirt was pink. You're right, it was pink. Hey, Jenny, when's my birthday? Your birthday was, um... Hey, Jenny, when's my birthday? Your birthday was, um, January? You got mad at me because I forgot your birthday and even teamed up with Timmy to try and eliminate me. Leave me out of this. Brianna, I really am sorry. You've been a great friend. Come on, Jenny. You can remember we've been friends since kindergarten. I, I can't. I just, I don't remember. No. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, 
Mommy. This is all your fault, Timmy. You're the one who turned Jenny against me. Mom, can you come pick me up? What day of the week is it? Sunday. What did you eat for dinner last night? Raw onions. What's the last thing Jimmy said before he died? Oh, it starts with a G. Timmy! Brianna, are you trying to ask Timmy questions you know he'd forget? No. Uh, um, uh, it's not what it looks like. Did you forget my name? No, I remember your name, it's- I'm in love with you, Brianna! Did you forget my name? No, I remember your name, it's- I'm in love with you, Brianna! Of course, everyone forgets the nerdy guy's name. Eugene! I remember now, you're the nerdy guy who has no riz and gets no girls. That's enough, Brianna! Timmy, why did you say you're in love with me earlier? Because I am. I think that's the real reason I was so mad. What color shirt was I wearing yesterday? Blue. What did Eugene say to you after you remembered his name? That's enough, Brianna! I know you don't actually love me, Timmy. You were just trying to catch me off guard so I'd lose. Hey, Brianna. Jimmy, how are you alive? I took Jimmy to the hospital that night, and he survived. Jimmy's been in hiding ever since, because if the government found out, they'd eliminate him for real this time. Jimmy and Timmy, that night that Jimmy was so-called eliminated, what did I say before I walked off? That's a trick question. You didn't say anything. You just walked off. Yeah, she just walked off. That's correct. Why is the timer still going? No way. Is it not correct? I don't think so, Timmy. What she said was, it was Thursday. Oh, right. I remember now. You said it was Thursday. That's not the answer. If that's not the answer, what is? The answer was Thursday. First question about your soulmate. Answer 10 right and you get to meet him. Your soulmate prefers light or dark hair. Well, I have light hair, so he must prefer light hair, right? No? You know what? I could kind of pull up dark hair. Oh, who threw hair at me? It was Jimmy! Jimmy! Your soulmate believes in marriage or doesn't believe in marriage. Well, if he has the same values as me, he would believe in marriage. Yes. Your soulmate is quiet or loud. Hmm, let's go with quiet. Yes, I knew it. He's quiet just like me! Your soulmate is cold or warm. What does that even mean? Your soulmate is alive or dead? Wait. But if he's dead, how would I meet him? Would I die too? No way. He has to be alive. <laughs> My soulmate's dead? Wait, that can't be good. After you answer 10 questions correctly, you meet your soulmate. But how would you meet him if he's dead? Would you die too? Would you be quiet, Jimmy? Your soulmate has light or dark hair. It's okay. All I have to do is answer all the questions wrong, and then I won't have to meet my soulmate. He probably has light hair like me, so I'll answer dark hair. No. Sports or sleep? He probably likes sports, right? So sleep. Mother! Fish or dog? Let's go fish. Apples or bananas? Water or soda? Texting or calling? That's it. I'm not answering any more questions. What's this timer above my head? It's timing you to answer the next question. If you stop answering questions, you'll die. Dancing or singing? Well, I like singing, so he must also like singing, so I'll choose dancing. No! Brianna, everything will be okay. No, Timmy, it's not going to be okay. I have one more question left, and if I answer it right, I'm going to be dead, just like my soulmate. What is it? What's the question? Your soulmate has met you before? Obviously, I've never met my soulmate, so... I'll choose yes? No. No, I've met my soulmate before, but when? When would I have met him? Ah! 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 Am I dead? Well, I'm at a graveyard. R.I.P. Timmy. <laughs> That's funny, I know a Timmy. Yeah, you do. It's me. Timmy, that can't be you. You're alive. You're right in front of me. I was allowed to appear in front of you and only you until you found out I'm your soulmate. But I'm not alive. I'm just a soul. Goodbye, sweetie. I'm leaving you and your mom forever. I don't love your mom anymore. I love someone else, so I'm going to be with her and raise her children. Daddy! Don't ever try and contact me. Daddy, no! Please don't go! Sweetie, do you have something above your head that says new core memory unlocked? Yeah, I do. Sweetie, you need to choose to delete the memory. It's best that you don't remember why Daddy really left. Mommy, when's Daddy coming home from work? Oh, uh, 
sweetie, he already came home from work. He just went out to go get milk. Brianna, would you like to go on a date with me later? Sure, I'd love to, Jake. So, Jake, where are we going for our date? We're staying here. In your room? That's not a very fun date. It could be fun. Come here, you're so far. Jake, I'm not that kind of girl. Brianna, wait! Wow, I can't believe you're so easy. What? I heard about what happened on your date with Jake. <laughs> He's the man. Jake, what are you telling everyone? I'm telling everyone the truth, that you were all over me. That's not the truth, Jake. What, did me rejecting you burst your fragile ego so you had to lie to everyone? Why are you so obsessed with me? Are you mad I didn't text you after our date or something? Everything I said is the truth. It's not true. I wish I could delete this memory forever. Well, if this becomes a core memory of yours, you can delete it forever. Brianna, Jake is telling everyone about what happened on your date. Is it true? Of course it's not true, Sophie. I knew it. It's a core memory of mine now. Are you going to keep it as one of your core memories, or are you going to delete it? I'm going to delete it. Promise me you'll never remind me that I ever dated Jake, so that I can just live blissfully unaware. I promise. And don't worry, I'll make sure that Jake stays far away from you, so that you never have to go through that again. You're a good friend, Sophie. Thank you. Hey, Brianna. Oh, hey, Jake. Do you by chance have any bad memories of me? Um, no, Jake, of course not. Why would I have any bad memories of you? No reason. Wanna go on a date tonight? Wanna go on a date tonight? Sure, that'd be fun. No! Don't date him! So anyways, I'll pick you up at- You're not picking her up at any time because you're not going on a date with her! Fine, we're not going on a date then! Sophie, why would you be mean to Jake? You just scared him off. We were gonna go on a date later. Trust me, it's for your own good. What do you mean it's for my own good? You're just jealous of me! Jealous of you? Yeah, because no guys like you. Ouch, that hurt. Sophie, I'm sorry. I was just trying to protect you. Don't talk to me ever again. <laughs> Dad! Dad, hey! Um... No way, you're alive. I haven't seen you since I was six. I thought something happened to you. I guess you don't remember the reason I left. I'm here to drop off lunch for my stepdaughter. Stepdaughter? Her name's Sophie. Do you know where she may be? I just gotta finish the word. Snow blank blank blank. Snowman! Frosty the snowman. I just gotta finish the word. Missile blank blank blank. Foot foot, it's something on your foot. Missile toe nail. Hey Jimmy, what's going? Jimmy? What happened to Jimmy? <laughs> Bye, Mom. I'm off to school now. Come on, sissy. Let's go. Oh, no. I just gotta finish the word. Blank. Ifs? What? Ifs? 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 What ifs? I don't know. What's an if? Answer now or else. Gifts? <sighs> I got it. I got a word. Blank, 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 mens. Come on, sissy. Give me a hint. I don't know, it's 7 a.m. My brain cells aren't all working yet. How can I answer this? I'm only six years old. I have no working brain cells. Answer now or else. Sissy, please. Ments, ments. Sissy, the things that hang on the Christmas tree. Ornaments. You got it. Attention class, today Santa Claus will be visiting our classroom. Santa! Santa! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, Santa Claus is coming to our I don't think it's going to be the real Santa Claus. The real Santa Claus is going to be way too busy preparing to deliver presents to the entire world. I just got to finish the word. P-R-E blank, 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 blank. The answer is presents. <laughs> give me a harder one next time. I like a challenge. Yeah, please give Eugene a harder one next time. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Guys, it's Santa Claus. Oh, no, I just got to finish the word. Ho, ho, ho. You better answer it. No. <laughs> Why do I recognize that voice? Whoa, whoa, you better answer it. Now. Why do I recognize that voice? Answer now or else. Santa Claus is the creator of Finish the Word. What'd you say? Nothing. Don't you have a Finish the Word? Answer it. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had to clear my throat. Um, slag blank 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 blank. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle. Eugene, stop ringing those bells. I'm trying to answer this. Slay! Bells! <laughs> Eugene, I think Santa Claus is the creator of Finish the Word. He most definitely isn't. How would you even think of that? Oh wait, you're blown heck! My roots are brown! Hey! 
Santa Claus, wait! Are you coming to tell me what you would like for Christmas? I know you're the creator of Finish the Word. Delivering Christmas presents to the entire world isn't easy. The less population, the more likely I can make everyone's Christmas dreams come true. End the game, Santa Claus, or else. Is that a frying pan? Yes. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tag. I just want to be your Sigma. Be your Sigma. Timmy, you can't copy what I just said. But I wanted that line. If you copy what someone just said or do an action that someone just did, you'll die. But I was supposed to sing that part of the song. Oh Great. And now Jimmy stole my line. Bye, Grandma. I'm off to school now. I'll see you later. What did you say? I couldn't hear you. I can't find my hearing aids. I'll see you later. You're an alligator. No, I'll see you later. You're stuck in a radiator? I'll see you later. Oh, I'll see you later. <laughs> Grandma! Guess what? I found your hearing aids. They were... Oh, no. Bree, what's up, girl? Oh, I'll, I'll get, get it. it. Which one of us went to go pick it up first? It was definitely me. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. I wasn't. Yes, you were. Look, both of us are still alive, so that means neither of us were copying each other. We both went to pick it up at the same time. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyways, I'm heading to class now. Bye. Bye. So close. Hey, Brianna, did you finish the homework? I totally forgot. Yeah, I did. Chad, are you copying my homework? Um, no. Well, I really hope you're telling the truth because if you did just copy my homework, you're gonna die. I told you I did it. And that's why you should always do your homework. You tell him, Eugene. He can't hear you, he's dead. Good, now that everyone has their assignments, everyone must start their assignment at the exact same time so that no one is accused of copying someone else's actions. Three, two, one, begin. Oh, I'm getting so tired. Oh, no, Brianna, don't yawn. I'm so sleepy. Mama, may I have cookie? Ah, please. Okay. Hi. Cookie. Why do I hear someone talking in my ear? That's because you have one of your soulmate's ears. You have your soulmate's right ear, and they have your left ear. So whenever you cover your left ear, you can hear whatever your soulmate's hearing in that moment. So you're saying my soulmate can hear everything that I hear? Yeah. Off to school already? Yeah, Mom, I'm leaving. I wonder what my soulmate's up to. What's your soulmate up to this morning? I don't know. Bree, I just heard my soulmate talking to his girlfriend. That is so messed up. Why wouldn't he wait for you? What about you? What's your soulmate been up to today? Let's see. Give me your lunch money, kid. No, no, please. Don't take my lunch money. Ha, 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 loser. I hear Jake's voice. He's stealing someone's lunch money. Maybe my soulmate's Jake. Or it could be the guy he's stealing the lunch money from. Either way, that means your soulmate is in the school. He's probably wherever Jake is. Jake! Jake! What is it, Brianna? Why are you calling me? Jake, who were you just talking to a minute ago? My boy Chad here. Sup? No, who did you steal lunch money from? How am I supposed to remember that? I steal a lot of people's lunch money. It's true, he does. You're no help, Jake! Hi, Jakey. Hee 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 hee. Brittany, let's go. <laughs> What's wrong? My soulmate's crying. Mom, can you come pick me up? I'm scared. He wants to go home. If he goes home, that means I'm not going to be able to find him today. You'll find him soon. At least you know he goes to the school. Boring, boring stuff. Math, geometry, numbers, equations, multiplication, division. Is my soulmate in this classroom? Okay, class, it's time to complete the assignment in front of you. You may work in small groups. Brittany! Brittany! Ah, what is it? I was sleeping! My soulmate is in this classroom! No way! Cover your ear and listen closely. See if you can find any hints where he might be. Good idea. I hear a gum wrapper. No, no, it's paper moving. Well, any idea who it might be? The sound stopped. Foot tapping. Whoever's tapping their foot is my soulmate. Oh, come on, why'd you stop tapping your foot? Brianna, don't disrupt my class again. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Watch where you're going. Brittany? Brittany! Brianna, wait, I don't know if you know me, but... I don't know you. I can't find her. Mom, when can I finally transfer schools? Soon, don't worry. It will be better there. That voice! Brianna, wait, I don't know if you know me, but... I don't know you. 
He was my soulmate. I'm coming home now, Mom. I told you not to leave school early. Nobody likes me here. He must be by the school's entrance. Hey, hey, wait. Oh, uh, hey, are you okay? You sound out of breath. Me? Yeah, I'm fine. I wasn't chasing you or anything. What? Where are you going? I'm going home early today. Let's just say it's been another difficult day. You should stay. I have a feeling your day is going to get much better. All right, I'll believe you. I'll stay. But if it doesn't get better, it's on you. I'm Brianna. What's your name? I'm Jason, and I already know who you are. We've had all the same classes together since elementary school. I really want an orange, but I don't want to peel it. Why is Jason sitting at our lunch table? And peel the orange yourself. <sighs> I'll peel it for you. Thanks, Jason. Ew, why is my gross brother Jason sitting at our lunch table? Your brother? Yeah, my brother that nobody likes because he dated my best friend and broke her heart. I need to go to the bathroom! No, you cannot just leave the classroom during a lesson. Fine, then I'm going to go right here. Right where? On the floor! That's disgusting! Get out of my classroom! <sighs> oh no, where's Jake? There you are. I'm, I'm breaking, breaking up, up with you! <sighs> Thank goodness that's over. Thank goodness that's over? Yeah, you were a terrible girlfriend. How was I a terrible girlfriend? We dated for like 20 minutes. You never called me, you never texted me, you never asked about my day or asked about my feelings. Well, pardon me, princess. I deserve princess treatment. James, how's my bestie? Great, I just got in a relationship. Really? For how long? 60 years. James, you need to break up with her. She's not even your soulmate. You know I can't do that. We're only allowed to break up seconds before the relationship is expiring. So that means I could also be stuck in a relationship with someone who's not even my soulmate? Soulmates are hard to find. Not everyone gets to spend their life with their soulmate. This is real life. It's not some fairy tale. No. I'm going to spend the rest of my life with my soulmate. Just you watch and see. All right. I hope you prove me wrong. Brianna. <laughs> Be my girlfriend. Sorry, Eugene, but I don't want to be in any meaningless relationship. I only want to be in a relationship with someone who's my soulmate, so... How do you know I'm not your soulmate? <laughs> You'll never truly know unless you agree to be my girlfriend. That's true. Okay, Eugene, I'll be your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be the worst two hours of my life. Don't you mean the best two hours of your life? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Eugene, what is those noises you're making? Sorry, I have a lot of phlegm. Hey, excuse me, I... I was just gonna ask you where the washroom is. Here, I'll help you pick that up. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Here's your book. Thanks. I'm Kevin. What's your name? Brianna. This might sound a little crazy, but... Will you be my girlfriend? Can you ask me again in two hours? Will you be my girlfriend? Can you ask me again in two hours? Why should I ask you again in two hours? <laughs> kind of dating someone right now but don't worry i don't even like them that sounds really bad look the thing is i'm trying to find my soulmate so i'm trying to date as many people as possible and it's okay i totally get it everyone's trying to find their soulmate i'll see you in two hours brianna okay i'll see you in two hours then bye kevin see you soon mm, sandwich no no please don't eat me oh no it's time why'd you throw your lunch on the floor i have to go break up with eugene 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 Eugene, where is that nerd? I can just break up with him over text. We are breaking up. Goodbye, loser. Eh. I can't believe you broke up with me over text. Eugene, if we didn't break up before the timer ran out and our relationship expired, we would both expire. You didn't have to be so harsh. <laughs> Kevin, I'm single now. Well, then I guess it's time to ask you. Will you be my girlfriend? I, I do. Huh? I mean, I'll be your girlfriend, Kevin. 65 years? Mine says our relationship has no expiration date. We're soulmates. No, Kevin, I'm not your soulmate. It says our expiration date is in 65 years. How is that possible? Does that mean you're my soulmate, but I'm not yours? Well, at least I get to spend 65 years with you. James. Brianna, what's up? I'm in a relationship now. For how long? 65 years. Wow, that's a long time. It's weird, though. He doesn't have an expiration date, but I do. That is really weird. I guess that you're his soulmate, but he's not your soulmate. That's too bad. Yeah, James, you were right. That soulmate stuff only happens in fairy tales. Brianna, I... But James, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna get to go to each other's weddings, just like we always said we would. You know, I used to think the wedding we'd be attending would be our wedding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> James. If anyone objects to the marriage of James and Claire, speak now or forever hold your peace. If anyone objects to the marriage of James and Claire, speak now or forever hold your peace. Babe. 
Is everything okay? Yeah, Kevin, I'm okay. Our relationship's about to expire, Kevin. And I'm about to expire as well. Thank you for spending these 65 years with me. I wouldn't have wanted to spend these 65 years with anyone else. <coughs> but now I must say goodbye to you and our relationship. Thank you for everything you've given me. Our relationship may expire, but my love for you will never. I love you. I love you, Kevin. <coughs> Hi, Brianna. James. I heard that you're very sick and might not have much time left. Claire and I had a great life together, but unfortunately our relationship expired and we had to go our separate ways. Kevin passed away seconds after our relationship expired. I love you. I'd be a fool if I didn't finally ask you. Will you be my girlfriend? Okay, James. I will. You're my soulmate, James. And you're my soulmate. Soulmate starts? Hmm. I want to listen. I want to go home and play Roblox. Roblox! Mommy, what is this soulmate's thoughts thing? When you press listen, you can hear whatever your soulmate's thinking, and they can hear whatever you're thinking. Oh no, that's not good! Why, honey? What are you thinking? <laughs> I wonder what my soulmate looks like. Maybe he's super hot, like Jakey! Hi, Jake! Oh no, I just realized my soulmate can hear what I'm thinking. I hope he's not mad at me. Man, I really need to take a sh- Klaus, everyone is going to be assigned partners for today's project. Brianna, you're with Jason. What's up? Oh, hi Jason, I'm Brianna. I guess we're going to be partners for today's project. Darn, I have to work on this project with this ugly loser. Maybe he's not my soulmate. Maybe it's just a coincidence that my soulmate is working on a project at the same time I am. He could be anywhere in the world. That black lace shirt she has on is so ugly. Ew. Oh no, and she's also blonde. She's probably one of those dumb blonde girls. I'm going to have to do the project all by myself then. I don't want to get a bad grade because of her. Oh, it's definitely him. What's definitely him? Nothing. Freaking for something in the distance. So close you can almost taste it. Release your Quiet! My soulmate keeps singing in her head. I have to mute her. It's so annoying! Yeah, that would be really annoying. We'll have to get together after school to finish this project. Yeah. That girl over there is so fine. Yeah! Why are you checking out a girl while you're talking to me? What? What? I know that you know. You know I know? I know you know, and I also know. You know that I can read your mind too, right? I love stealing Big Sissy's makeup. It's so much fun! Brianna. You did something wrong. You stole your big sister's makeup. Now you must make things right. You must right your wrong before the timer runs out or else you die. Live or die, the choice is up to you. Big Sissy! Big Sissy, Big Sissy! What's wrong? I'm sorry I stole your lipstick and I put it all over my face. It was a mistake and I really hope you forgive me. <laughs> I can't believe you took my lipstick again. What's wrong with you? You're such a little brat. Wait, don't worry about it, okay? I forgive you. I love you. I love you, sissy. Mommy, when's dinner ready? I cheated! I cheated on you! I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to! What? Ah, daddy! Cover your eyes! Ah! This is all your guys' fault! You kids are so bad, you wouldn't have found another woman! Or maybe you're just a terrible wife! Don't you? Guys, stop fighting! I just got a timer over my head. So did I. Maybe you're just a terrible wife! Don't you? Guys, stop fighting! I just got a timer over my head. So did I. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. I only said it because I was mad at you. Yeah, okay, whatever, fine. I'm sorry too, okay? And I forgive you. Why is the timer still going off? I made my wrong right. I said sorry. You have to mean it, Mom. Okay, okay, I mean it. Come on, stop! Sissy, don't look. This is bull- Hey, any luck finding a job? Not yet. It's really been hard for me to take care of you on my own since Mom died. If we don't find a way to get money soon, You'll have to be put in foster care. I can't take care of you anymore. I'll find a job soon, okay? Hey, have a good day at school, okay? We'll figure this out. I love you. Oh. Um. Sir? Sir? You dropped your wallet. Oh, how did I not notice? Thank you so much. No problem. Brianna, you did something wrong. It's time to right your wrong or face the consequences of your actions. Brianna, you did something wrong. It's time to right your wrong or face the consequences of your actions. Sir! Sir, wait! Sir! I stole my wallet. Sir! 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 Sir!
actual money from your wallet before giving it back to you. I knew it was wrong and I'm so sorry I did that. I just couldn't help myself. I really need the money and I wasn't thinking. Thank you. It's very brave of you to own up to your actions. You're a good person. No, I'm not a good person. If there was no consequence to my action, I wouldn't have gave the money back. You are a good person because someone who is bad would never truly believe what they did was wrong. Here, take this. Consider it a gift. Sir, I can't accept this. I won't accept it back, so you might as well keep it. But I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. Have a good day. That voice. Wait! Where did he go? Hey, Professor, sorry I'm late. Your professor's not here. Today I'll be the one teaching the class. Brianna looks like she's seen a ghost. <laughs> now, Brittany. Brianna looks like she's seen a ghost. <laughs> now, Brittany. Making fun of someone is not a very nice thing to do. Apologize. Or face the consequences. The substitute teacher is the controller of right or wrong. What? Anyways, I guess I need to apologize. I'm so sorry that you're so easy to make fun of. Brittany, no, that's not an apology. Fine, I'm so sorry your face looks so silly when you're scared. No! Brittany! You're not going anywhere. You've got a lot of learning to do. Mmm, cookie. Can I see? Sure. Give me that. Timmy, give me my cookie back. Timmy, stealing someone's food without permission is not right. Make it right or die. Ah, okay, here. You already took a bite out of it. Hold out your hand. I can give it back. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. You keep it. Hello? Sissy, the control of right or wrong is in my classroom. Brianna's using her phone in class. Timmy! Eyes that can see into the future or eyes that can see into the past? Hmm... Choose. I know no wanna. Choose. Here, Brianna, have a cookie. What's in the cookie? Cookie. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. Brianna, are you okay? This cookie's dangerous. Ow! My cookie. You should be thanking me, Timmy. I just saved your life. I'm heading to work now. Bye, Mom. Hello? This is Officer James. I'm calling because something happened to your mother. She... Mom, don't go to work today. Why? I have to... Just please don't. Okay, I won't. Hello? This is Officer James. I'm calling because... Hello? This is Officer James. I'm calling because something happened to your mother. She was taken by a strange man at her workplace. We don't know the identity of the man, but we're doing everything we can to find her. Well, is she still missing? Uh, yes. Then you're not doing everything you can. Brianna, I overheard your call. Are you okay? Where are you going? I'm going to find my mom. I'll come with you. Come here. Jake! Help, help, Brianna! I'm going by myself, Jake. Don't follow me. Come on, I show me something. Why am I in my childhood home? Mom! Mom! Are you okay? I... I... Who did this to you? No, no, I wasn't done yet. Come on, I show me more. Any luck finding your mom? Jake, I told you not to come. It's not safe. I was worried about you. Come here. Jake! Help, help, Brianna! Oh, how rude of me. Would you like some, Sophie? No. Put a finger down if you've ever stole. Sophie, you put a finger down you've stolen before? I have. I only have one finger left. That's not good, Sophie. If you lose all your fingers, you'll get eliminated. Put a finger down if you're cringe. <clears throat> That's not me. I'm not putting a finger down. Brianna, if you lie, you'll be eliminated. Put a finger down if you've ever committed tax fraud. Sophie, you've committed tax fraud? You're six years old. It's a cruel world we live in. <laughs> Sophie! It's a cruel, cruel world we live in. Hi, Bay. I got you this. Oh, it's so cute. Put a finger down if you like men. <laughs> well, obviously I do. Babe, why'd you put a finger down? You don't like men. <laughs> True. Babe! Baby! Babe, why'd you put a finger down? You don't like men. <laughs> True. Babe! Baby! Put a finger down if your boyfriend just got eliminated from the game. That seems a little specific. Put a finger down if you're wearing a black shirt with gold hoop earrings and a necklace with a gem in the middle. Okay, what the flip? Timmy! Timmy! Ouch! 
I think the game is trying to eliminate me. Why? Because they're only saying things that are specific to me. Put a finger down if you're looking at Timmy right now and just spoke to him over three seconds ago. See? A lot of people look at me and speak to me, so... Look, and now I don't have a hand. Put a finger down if you're wearing pink lipstick. That's it. Brianna, what are you doing? I don't have to put a finger down if what they're saying isn't true. Put a finger down if you have two eyebrows. I need to shave my eyebrows. <coughs> put a finger down if you have two eyebrows. I need to shave my eyebrows. <coughs> I did it. Oh, oh, who's this ugly girl with no eyebrows? Timmy, stop screaming! It's me, Brianna! Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were an alien. Why didn't you shave your eyebrows? Because I didn't need to. I just put a finger down. I still have eight fingers left, unlike you, who only has five. Put a finger down if you have a crush on Timmy. Oh, wow, I wonder who has a crush on Brianna? Unfortunately, this put a finger down is impossible to make untrue. You actually have a crush on me? I do, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to live much longer. The game won't stop until I'm eliminated. Put a finger down if you've never had your first kiss. I have to kiss you, Timmy. Gross! I saw fireworks. I saw saliva. Put a finger down if Brianna Guidry is alive. Uh-oh. What? You're going to become a target. Everyone's going to try and eliminate you so they don't have to put a finger down. You need to get... Hey, Bri. You need to get... Hey, Bri. Jimmy, no. Please don't do this. <laughs> Brianna, stay back! Jimmy? Take this, Jimmy! Ow! I think I'm safe here. Put a finger down if you're wearing shoes. Put a finger down if you're wearing socks. Ugh. Put a finger down if you have two eyeballs. Fine, you got me. Put a finger down. If you have two fingers left. Look, if you wanted to eliminate me, you should have just did it. What's the point of me playing put a finger down? Good work, Timmy. She's almost eliminated. We make a good team. Timmy, you're alive? Isn't it amazing what a bulletproof vest and red food coloring can do? We run this game. Put a finger down if you lost. Sweetie, how much does your tag say? Zero dollars. Oh no, honey, you're worthless. You must hide it. Everyone will judge you based on how much you're worth. Job interviews, applying to college, making friends, or getting a boyfriend. They'll all look at your price tag. Mommy, I don't think that's true. Just because my tag says zero doesn't mean people won't want to be my friend. Okay, go and see for yourself. Hey guys, let's all play princesses together. Oh my gosh, you're worth zero dollars. I'm worth a million. I'm worth a billion. You can't play with us. We don't want to be seen playing with anyone who's worthless. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> hey, Brianna. Timmy. Jake's having a party letter tonight. He wanted to know if you'd come. Yes, I would love to. That sounds like so much fun. Sweet, but I just need to take a picture of your price tag real quick. All the guests have to be worth at least 10000 I can't show you, Timmy. Why not? Why do you even hide it anyways? You're my best friend. You wouldn't tell anyone, right? No, of course not. Okay. You're worthless! You're worthless! I can't believe you're- Shh! Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Hey, Bri, what's good? Hi, Jake. Hey, Jake. You're coming to my party tonight, right? Of course, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Great, I can't wait to see you there. Wow, Jake, your muscles look really big today. Mine are way better. Wanna feel? Yeah, I would love- No way, Timmy just sent me a picture of your tag. It says zero dollars, you're worthless! Get away from me, Brianna. I can't believe I was talking to someone who's worthless. Brianna's worthless. Thanks for the heads up, Timmy. Timmy, I wouldn't hang around her if I were you. She's worthless. Timmy, why would you do that? You're my best friend. I thought I could trust you. Bree, let me explain. It's because I'm in love with you. What? Do you have any idea how it made me feel seeing you flirt with Jake all the time? I'm sorry I showed the whole school your secret, but now the only person that wants you is me. It doesn't matter how worthless I am, Timmy. I still would never date you. You're going to wish you had dated me because no one wants to be seen with someone who's worthless like you. Ew, the worthless girl's in our classroom. Ew, get her out of here. I'm worth a million dollars, but I can feel my worth decreasing with her just sitting there. Why is everyone saying Brianna's worthless? She's not. She's priceless. They put a zero because they can't put a dollar amount on someone who's priceless. She has the highest amount of worth there is. You're all very lucky to be in the same classroom with her because there's very few people in this world who are priceless like her. No, 
way. It's the priceless girl. Take photos of her. She's the highest worth. You know, you should be thanking me, Brianna. Thanking you? Yeah, if I didn't share the photo of your price tag to the whole school, you would have always thought you're just worthless. I know my worth, Timmy, and I don't need some tag to tell me. Brianna. Jake. I can't believe you're priceless. That's amazing. I mean, before, when I thought you were worthless, I would have never wanted to date you, but now I'd like to take you out on a date. Jake, I... Are you going to bed now? Yes, Mom. Ah! Mom, I just saw darkness. Do you have more of that eye-opening spray? Yes, and don't worry, sweetie. You can see darkness for five seconds, but any more than that? It's great that the government gives us eye-opening spray. We wouldn't be able to keep our eyes open without it. Mom, do you have more of the eye spray? I keep blinking. It's not safe. No, sweetie. The government is low on stock on the eye-opening spray. They're only giving it to the wealthy now. Mom, no, they can't do that. How are we going to survive? It's not going to be easy. I'm so tired. I'm going to close my eyes just for a couple seconds. Mom, open your eyes! Open your eyes! Oh, who are you? What do you want from me? Mom? Ah! Mom! There's a way to beat the darkness. <gasps> Bree, do you have any extra eye spray? Uh, something's in my eyes, like dust or something. Keep your eyes open! I can't! Open your eyes. If you see darkness, you'll die. I think I'm okay. I just need to flush out my eyes with some water. Are you okay now? Yeah, I'm much better now. My eyes feel so tired. All those years of keeping my eyes open are finally catching up to me. And I said, of course, my daddy will buy for me. <laughs> They're only giving the eye-opening spray to the wealthy. Don't worry, Sophie. I'll get us some. What are you gonna do? Charles, you look so handsome today. I know what you want. No one ever talks to me unless they want something. Here, take it. You wanted the eye-opening spray, right? No way, really? Of course it's yours. I have so many I can't even keep count. Thank you so much. Sophie, I got us some more eye-opening spray. Sophie, why are your eyes closed? Survive for me. Sophie! Sophie! <laughs> ah! What's in the spray? I can't open my eyes! You really thought I'd give you the real spray after you tried to use me. Job! Oh no, am I dead? They say the scariest thing about the dark is your imagination, so it's best to find the light. Are you scared? Come follow me. Come here. <laughs> There's a way to beat the darkness. There's a way to beat the darkness. They say the worst part about the dark is your imagination. That means none of this is real. I'm real. None of you are real. Hi, sweetie. Mom? Mom. Brianna, I missed you so much. Take my hand. Mommy's here now. You guys aren't real. I'm real. You're not real and I'm not afraid of you. You don't, you don't miss, miss your own mother. mother. You're not real. There's light up ahead. You found the light. Too bad Sophie and your mom are still in the dark. Wait, does that mean they're still alive? Wait! They're still alive. Who? Eugene. <laughs> Will you be my Valentine? Sorry, but no. <laughs> no? Yeah, we need to break up. I have a new girlfriend now. Her name's Eugenia. But Eugene, we've been dating since we were like five years old. I know, but Eugenia's way better than you. She's smarter too. <laughs> Brianna, why are you crying? How'd it go with Eugene? Eugene broke up with me. Aw, oh, Bree. I'm going to die. There's no way that someone like me is going to get a valentine in eight days. <laughs> Brianna, don't worry. With my help, you'll get a valentine for sure. I get like 50 every year. Is that even legal? Hi, Chad. Did you just fart? Oh, because it smells really bad. No, the pickup line is because you blew me away. No, I think he actually just farted. Hey, Brianna, I lost my number. Could I have yours? Um, I'm sorry, Jason, but you need to get your own number. I need mine. Brianna, he's not trying to steal your number. He was flirting. Oh, okay. I will give you my own personal number as long as you promise not to steal it from me. You know what? Never mind. I don't even want it anymore. Bree, what was that? Did I do a good job? Brianna, there's Jimmy. Go flirt with him. I can't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Tell him a pickup line. Got it. Hi, Jimmy. Is your refrigerator running? Uh, yes. Well, then you better go catch it. <laughs> what are you talking about? <sighs> no, Brianna, that was a punchline. Um... Okay, so flirting's not working for you, so I'm going to make the boys come to you. I'm going to take a video of you, then edit it and make you look stunning. Okay. Ready? 
action. Give me slay. Give me model. No. Take off your glasses and bite them. Great. Now play with your hair. Now throw your glasses on the ground. Oh, shit! Mommy, why whenever I hold onto an object, it says send to soulmate? That's because, honey, any object you touch, you can send to your soulmate. And he can send you any object he touches. I'm going to send him Mr. Octopus. I'm never letting my soulmate send me anything ever again, and I'm never sending him anything. My soulmate sent me flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. Did your soulmate send you anything today? No, I haven't accepted anything from my soulmate since I was six. You should accept it. It might be something important. Yeah. A puzzle piece with an E on it. Oh, my soulmate's trying to send me something again. LP? He sent me E earlier. Maybe he's trying to say something? Yeah, like Lep or L. Pell. And why is there a puzzle piece with an H on it? Help! Help! My soulmate was trying to say that he needs help. What am I going to do? You should send him over something so he can protect himself. Good idea. Here, send him this frying pan. Now you're talking. My soulmate's trying to send me something. He sent me the frying pan back. He must not need it. Brianna, look, he attacked something. It's a puzzle piece with the one on it. I wonder what this one could mean. My soulmate's trying to send me something. Four, three. Maybe he's trying to tell me what address he's at. Or maybe it's a code to unlock something. Sophie, I'm worried about my soulmate. He hasn't sent me anything in hours. What if something happened to him? Here, send him this. Oh, moldy cheese? It smells so bad that if someone's holding him captive, they'll release him for sure. Why do you have this on hand? You don't? Maybe I can send over myself. I don't know. I don't think you're considered an object. I can send myself, but I'm scared. I don't know where I'm going to end up. It's not a good idea. It's too dangerous. Please, don't go. My soulmate wants to send me something. A six. He wants to send me something again. What is it? It's an arrow, but I can't tell if it's up or down. Attach it to the puzzle piece and see. It's down. He sent me dirt. This is getting weird. I need to go to him. Brianna, wait. Take this for protection. Promise me you'll come back safely. I promise I will. Why am I at a graveyard? Six down. I think he was trying to say he's six feet under. Help! Help me! Are you still alive? Mm, 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 mm. Honey, don't do that. Pick up your toy now. I don't want to. Ouch! Mommy, why is my heart hurting? Because you must do whatever someone tells you to do. You were born with a curse. If you disobey someone's orders, you'll die. Okay, Mommy, I'll pick it up right away. Now, sweetie, you can't let anyone find out about your curse. Because if they find out that you can't disobey them, they'll order you to do things that you don't want to do. Understand? Yes, Mommy, I understand. Give me your lunch. Sophie. Aw, Brie, I was just joking. Take your lunch back. Come on, you know I would never use your curse against you. I know. You're the only one other than my family who knows about my curse. I'm glad I have a friend like you who I can trust. Brianna, give me all your money. Uh, okay. Brianna, spin in a circle. Stop spinning. Sophie wasn't lying. She really has to do whatever we tell her to do. Stand still. All right, now stay there and don't move. Bye-bye, <laughs> Brianna. Guys, guys, don't leave me here like this. Help, help. Somebody help me, please. What's wrong? Is everything okay? Tell me that I'm allowed to move. Oh, uh, okay, you can move. <sighs> Thank goodness. Hey, wait, why did you need me to say that? Look, I'm sorry, but I can't tell you. Hey, don't go yet. Tell me your name first. My name is Brianna. Nice name. I'm James. Can I go now, James? Yeah, of course you can. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. You have no idea. Sophie! Sophie, you told Timmy and Jimmy about my curse. How could you? Brianna, I can explain. I... I hate you! Stay here and listen to what I have to say. I told my boyfriend about your curse and he told Timmy and Jimmy and they told a lot of people. Sophie, do you not understand how dangerous this is for me? Let me go now. You have to forgive me first. 
Okay, okay, I forgive you. I forgive you. No, you have to mean it. How could I genuinely mean it after what you've done? Brianna, don't forgive Sophie. Brianna, don't forgive Sophie. Forgive me, Brianna. Don't forgive Sophie ever. Brianna, give Sophie a knuckle sandwich. Oh! I can't believe you just made me do that to Sophie. You'll thank me later. Let's go. I can't believe you made me do that, James. Brianna, pick your nose. <laughs> Brianna, pull your hair. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Leave her alone, guys. Come on, Bree. Let's go somewhere no one can bother you. James, why did you bring me to the school's basement? Because no one will be able to find you here. It's okay, James. You don't need to worry about me. I'm going to go home now, and I'm never going to come back to the school again. It's not safe here. How are you going to learn? Homeschooling? And what about me? James, move out of the way. I want to leave now. <laughs> you are never allowed to leave this room or ask anyone for help. But don't worry. I'll check up on you, babe. <laughs> Mommy, did you want us any food today? No, I lost again, darling. I'll have to try again tomorrow. But Mommy, I'm starving. We haven't eaten in days. What about Sissy? Did she play? I did, but I lost. Unfortunately, we can only play once a day. I can play. No, you can't. You're too young. I'm old enough. I can play in the Hunger Games. Let her try and win some food. I'll come with her. Okay, you can go. I know you're very hungry. You can try and win us all some food. But be careful. People are very hostile when they're hungry. I'm here to play a game for food. Welcome. You'll be playing against Miss Turner. Listen here, little brat. I got family to feed. I'm not losing. Miss Turner, you better watch yourself. The game you will be playing is Rock, Paper, Scissors. Begin. Rock, Rock paper, paper, Scissors. scissors. I chose paper. Scissors beats paper. Here's your food. Congratulations. Thank you. You guys, I got 10 kids to feed. You guys, I got 10 kids to feed. Miss Turner, that is not your food to touch. <laughs> sissy, close your eyes. Here, give me the food. I'll hold it for you. You sissy. Don't touch food that doesn't belong to you. <gasps> Why would you do that? That was my I'm here to play a game for food. Your opponent is Derek. The game is Simon Says. Dun, dun, Simon dun, Says, dun, 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 touch your head. Dun, dun, Derek, be quiet. Dun, dun, I can't dun, hear dun, him. Dun, dun, touch dun, your dun, dun, Derek. Dun, 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 dun. He didn't say Simon Says. Derek is the winner. Yes. You cheated, Derek. Now I can't eat today. Did you win your game today? I lost. They made a new rule that you can play for food more than once a day. But if you lose your second try, you die. Please promise me you won't play more than once a day. Yeah, Mom. I promise. Brianna? Timmy. Did you win any food today? I lost. I lost my game, too. How about you and I play again and face each other in the Hungry Games? I'm in. I got 110 happiness today. I'm so happy. Maybe a little too much. How much did you get? 1%. That's even more than yesterday. Darn it! That's so sad. It's going to be my life goal from now on to get you more happiness. What makes you happy? Pain and suffering. No. I'd like to buy this granola bar. That'll be 3% happiness. Dang it. I don't have enough. I really need to get more happiness. Well, that's too bad. Why is there a bunch of men over there with six packs? Where? Hey, you need to pay for that! Hey, Brittany, you said you'd help me get more happiness? I'm down. I'm tired of being broke. Yay! I'm so excited. Brianna, I figured out what will make you more happy. If you got a boyfriend, I found a man who's willing to go on a date with you. Hi, I'm Timmy. What? 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 What the? F Brianna, no, you're supposed to flirt with Timmy. I was flirting. I'm not going on a date with her. She is scary. Come on, Timmy, try. At least sit with her at lunch or something. Fine. Why is she looking at me like that? I'm so scared right now. Brianna, you're not supposed to stare creepily at your date. How about you put these sunglasses on so you don't scare him to death? Fine. This isn't better. Timmy, 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 Timmy. <laughs> Brianna, this isn't how you flirt. That's it. Brittany, I don't care how much money you're paying me to go on a date with her. She's weird. I'm leaving. You paid him to go on a date with me? I did, but Brianna, just let me explain. Are you okay? No. Honestly, I don't even care. You're just in my sulking spot. What song are you listening to? You probably don't know him. He's a really underground artist. No way. That's my favorite song. You're so cool. Can I get your number? Sure. I'm Spike. I'm Brianna. Timmy, are you ready for the first house of the night for trick-or-treating? Yeah. Can I be the one to knock? 
Okay. Trick, Trick or, or treat. treat. <gasps> I got treat. Here you go. Thank you. I got a trick. What's on your shirt, Timmy? I don't see anything. Made you look? Ha 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 ha. He got you. <laughs> yeah, he really tricked me. Timmy! Hello. Trick, Trick or treat. treat. <gasps> I got treat again. Here's your candy. Thank you. I got a trick. That's okay. I'll give you a treat anyways. Thank you so much. Take a bite. Um, does this have peanuts in it? Of course. I'm severely allergic. <laughs> That's the trick. Eugene, now's not the time to sleep. We need to go do more trick-or-treating. Trick or treat. I got a trick? Someone needs to say to you happy Halloween before the timer runs out, or else also I stole all your candy. You motherfucker! Someone needs to say to you happy Halloween before the timer runs out, or else also I stole all your candy. Excuse me, miss. On Halloween day, what do people usually say to each other? Sweetie, why are you out all by yourself? Just hurry up and answer my question! Happy Halloween? Yes, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> Give me back my candy, mister. No. <laughs> Twick or tweet, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. If you don't, I won't be sad. I'll just make you wish you had. Okay, okay, here. <laughs> it's Halloween night now, Mom. I love you. Stay safe out there. How long are they going to make us trick-or-treat till? By wall, you must trick-or-treat until you're 30. I love you. I'll see you tonight. Yeah. Ready for the first house of the night? Mm-hmm. Ah! Happy Halloween. Trick-or-treat. Trick or treat. Babe, I got a treat. Here's your treat. I got a trick. Here's a tricky riddle for you. Some people are afraid of me. When you see me, you see less. What am I? Answer before the timer runs out. Grandma, can you sing me a lullaby? Of course, sweetie. Ah! Think I like this little life. Mommy? Ah! Think I like this little life. Grandma's acting weird again. This little life. Oh no, how did she escape the nursing home? Ah! Hey, mind if I sit here? Hi, Jimmy! <laughs> Bri, your voice sounded so weird. I know. Um... Sophie, Jimmy is my soulmate. Really? How do you know? Well, my soulmate's name has five letters. Jimmy's name has five letters. Also, it starts with a J. Jimmy's name starts with a J. No way. Jimmy's your soulmate for sure then. Jimmy's over there. Go get your man, girl. Jimmy! I mean... Hi, Jimmy. Oh, hey, Brianna. Is everything okay? What's up? I think you're really cute, and I was wondering if I could get your number. Brittle, what are you doing trying to get my boyfriend's number? Boyfriend? Jimmy and I are together. We're dating. Well, that's too darn bad, Timmy. Break up! Jimmy's my soulmate, so we're getting married. But I don't even like women. Are you sure Jimmy's your soulmate? My soulmate's name is Jimmy. <laughs> I guess we need to break up, Pookie. Please don't break up with me, Pookie. I'm sorry. It needs to be done. <laughs> Sophie, Jimmy's not my soulmate. Oh, that's too bad. What are you going to do now? What I need to do is I need to sneak in the principal's office and get a list of all of the J names in the school. That's not going to work. You don't even know if he goes to this school. The only for sure way to find your soulmate is correctly guess his name. The second letter of my soulmate's name is... Bree, which letter are you going to guess? I don't know. No, no, no. I didn't mean to guess that. Try again. Okay, the second letter of my soulmate's name is... Oh, I just wasted two of my guesses. Guess again, but be extra careful this time. The second letter of my soulmate's name is Q. Why would you choose Q? What's wrong with you? Choose a common letter. Okay, okay. The second letter of my soulmate's name is A. It's J-A. What could the third be? Yo, Brianna, what's up? Oh, hey, James. Maybe my soulmate is James. Brianna, Shh. I... Be quiet, James. The fourth letter of my soulmate's name is E. Why would you guess the fourth letter before the third? Go in order! That's too predictable! Brianna, would you listen? I... Shh! James, I'm trying to see if you're my soulmate or not. The third letter of my soulmate's name is M. It's not James? Are you sure your name is really James? Yes, my name is really James. I've been trying to tell you this whole time that you're not my soulmate. Sophie is! Sophie, James is your soulmate and you never told me? I don't know. I thought maybe he had two soulmates. Brianna, what about Jaden? The third letter of my soulmate's name is D. L. S. Oh no, I only have one.
one guess left. Ten wrong guesses and I'll... Don't worry, you can do this. Take one more guess. The third letter of my soulmate's name is... K? Y. Jakey! I wonder what's in mommy's purse. Chicken nugget! Brianna, did you steal my purse? No! I really hope you're telling the truth, because if you don't tell the truth before the timer runs out, you'll die. Okay, I took it. I'm glad you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Okay. Brianna, has Jake came to school yet? Uh, my boyfriend Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jakey! Are we still on for our date tonight? Of course. <laughs> Jake, you were so funny. Oh, it's just like you could get any girl in the world and you chose Brianna. <laughs> um, anyways, I gotta go. I'll see you later, babe. Okay, bye, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you were acting like a total pick-me when he was around. What? No way. Why would I like your boyfriend? Are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like your boyfriend? Are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. Jake and I were dating behind your back a few months ago. I'm sorry, Brianna. No, no, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I would die. Go ask Jake yourself if you don't believe me. Got your pen. Jakey. <laughs> Jake, Emma told me earlier that you guys used to date while dating me. Is that true? It's Brianna and Jake. Did you already finish your assignments? Yep. Yes, sir. It's true. Emma and I were seeing each other while you and I were dating. But I don't love Emma. I've always loved you. I don't love you and I never have, Jake. Brianna. <laughs> I'm in love with Jake, and I always have been. Was that Jake? Are you ready for bed, sweetie? Yeah, Mom, I'm ready. For population control, today's the first day that dreams can put you in an eternal sleep. From the time you fall asleep, you will have eight hours to escape your dream, and this will happen every single night from now on. That doesn't sound too bad. Now remember, sweetie, the reason why dreams are so difficult to escape is because you won't even know that you're dreaming. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. What's this music? Where are your pets? Ah! Oh no, I must have forgot them. And where's your school bag? I must have forgot that too. If you don't have it, you'll fail elementary school. Elementary school? But I already graduated elementary school. Hurry up, you'll be late for yapping class. Yapping class? This is a dream. Wake up. Wake up! That was easy. Hey mom, you escaped your dream already too? Dream? Oh, would you help? I'm trying to fry this pan in the oven. Why would you cook a frying pan in the oven? Oh no, the whole house is burning down. <laughs> Hurry up, go get the fire extinguisher on the roof. Why would the fire extinguisher be on the roof? Wait, am I still dreaming? Is this a dream? Dream? What are you talking about? You're awake. What's your middle name? My name is Mom. What day of the week is it? Today's day? It's today. This is still a dream. If it was a dream, could I do this? <laughs> am I awake now or am I still dreaming? Oh no, I think this is still a dream. Maybe if I go to sleep in my dream, I'll wake up in real life. <laughs> is everything all right? Yeah, I just, I had a dream that I was falling. Jake, what are you doing in my house? I've come to profess my love for you. I love you, Bree. Oh. Stay back, Jake is my man. What the f Oh, what's happening? Jake, Jake, you're melting. I love your mom more than you. Oh no, I'm melting too. You're the disappointment of the family. Oh no, oh no, am I melting too? Wait, this is a dream. The reason why dreams are so difficult to escape is because you won't even know that you're dreaming. Consciousness, maybe if I'm conscious of everything around me, the objects in the room, the room itself, my senses, and my body. I have 12 fingers. When I make a fist, I don't feel anything. Oh, oh. Ah! Am I finally awake? Morning, you're finally up. Mom, we did it, we both escaped our dream. What are you talking about? For population control. Every night we must escape our dream before the timer runs out or else we will be put in an eternal sleep. <laughs> Why would we need to escape our dream for population control? It sounds like you had a really bad nightmare last night, sweetie. It was all a dream. 
He's touching me. I'm not touching you. Ah, you're touching me. Not touching. Brianna. That isn't something to joke about. If you touch an object or a person that doesn't belong to you, you'll die. You really think it means people too? It does. You can only touch someone if they agree they're yours and you agree you're theirs. But you must be careful because you can only belong to one person at one time. And if you touch someone who belongs to someone else, you die. You got that, Timmy? You need to survive this series, okay? Series? What? What? Hey, baby. Babe. You're mine, right? I'm all yours. Forever. What is my boyfriend doing over there? Babe, you're gonna be late. <laughs> For class. Brianna, what are you doing here? Sorry, Brianna, but he belongs to me now. He already agreed. He's not yours, Brittany! <laughs> no, no, Brittany! He's not yours, Brittany! <laughs> no, no, Brittany! I'm so sorry, baby. Can I please just explain what happened? Come here! Don't touch me! I don't belong to you anymore! Brianna, I love you! <laughs> Did you complete your assignment? Yeah. Once I give you this assignment, it no longer belongs to me and belongs to you from now on. Thank you, and I have your test grid. As soon as I hand you your test back, as soon as your fingers touch the paper, it no longer belongs to me, it belongs to you. Thank you. Brianna, where's your boyfriend? Why isn't he in class today? He's not in class today because he's gone. What? How? He tried to touch me when I didn't belong to him anymore. Why? What happened between you two? He cheated on me. You deserve so much better than him. Class is over. Why did the door just shut? What are we gonna do? We can't open it. The door doesn't belong to any of us. I got it. A word just appeared above my head. Knee blank. No way. I just got the same word. You two must finish the rest of the word using your intuition. When you get the beginning of a word or sentence, someone will also have received the same word and you must finish it together using your intuition. On the count of three, if you two don't say the same word, you will go bye-bye from Earth. Remember, it doesn't need to be correct or even make sense. All that matters is you two say the same thing. Okay, ready, Timmy? Three, two, one. Nina! Nina! <gasps> we we did, did it! We're like twins! We can like read each other's minds, it's crazy! New blank. Brianna. Shh. Yeah. Got it? Got it, Timmy. <laughs> Three, two, one. Mew, two. Oh, no, Timmy, we got it wrong. There will be one more intuition test. Whoever passes, survives. There will be one more intuition test. Whoever passes, survives. The mug in front of you is either full or empty. Using your intuition, you must decide which one it is. Whoever figures it out will survive. Using my intuition, I say that this cup is empty. You passed. Yay! The cup in front of me, ouch, that's some hot coffee. It's full. No, Timmy, you have to find out using your intuition. Oopsie. <gasps> Timmy, no! no yelling in the classroom. Sorry, Mrs. Smith. Come on, little sissy, let's go to school. What, Otter? Oh, no. Sissy, we have to finish the word together. Using our intuition. Okay, and I can say anything. Maybe I'll say water snake. No, you can't! I mean, sorry for yelling at you. You need to finish the word with what you think I would say. How I would finish the word. Okay? Okay, I'm ready. Three, two. <laughs> Your hair looks so silly. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You look better bald than with your hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna, you're bold. What? How? That's your karma. When you do something bad, your karma will come instantly. You made fun of her hair, so you went bald. No, no, no. I can't be bald. I don't want to look like... Miss Worldwide! Sissy, where's my lip liner? I don't know. I know you took it. I didn't. Yes, you did, because you're a bratty little thief, and no one likes you. Oh, I found it. <coughs> oh, no. Why isn't it coming off? Nothing I do is making this come off. This must be my karma for yelling at my sister. I need to apologize. Sissy, I'm sorry you're such an annoying brat who steals my makeup all the time. I'm so sorry you need makeup to be pretty. I'm sorry you were ever born. <coughs> Sissy, where'd she go? I'm sorry you were ever born. <coughs> Sissy, where'd she go? Sissy, Sissy, are you playing hide and seek? 
Come out. Stop playing. Come on. Because Kamara is my boyfriend. Kamara is a... Ah! What are you still doing here? You're supposed to be at school. Where's your little sister? Did she leave already? She's gone. I said I wish she was never born and she disappeared. Her disappearing is your karma for saying that. Now you must do as many good deeds as possible in hopes that good karma will bring your little sister back home. Go now. Get out of here. Mom, I made you tea and I cleaned the whole house. Dinner's almost ready. Good job. Keep going. How many good deeds do you think it will take for Sissy to come back? There's no guarantee that getting good karma will bring back your sister. Her favorite stuff, snowman. Emily, I'm sorry I said I wish you were never born. I didn't mean it. I love you. Please, just take me instead of her. Take me instead of her! Sissy? Last words. I hate- Honey, no, you can't say those words. If you say those words to someone, it'll be the last words that they hear. Ever. Ah! Okay, Mommy, I won't say it. Mommy, what are your last words? I can't tell you because if I say those words, you won't hear another word ever again. I hate- No! What are you doing? <laughs> I was just kidding, Mommy. <laughs> I kind of- ah! Sweetie, what are you doing? I'm getting ready to go out with my friends, Mom. No, I'm sorry, but you can't go out tonight. It's a school night. Plus, you have to stay home and watch your little sister. Why do I have to take care of little sissy? Can't you call babysitter for once? I never get to go with my friends. Babysitters are too expensive. I'm working two jobs just to get by. Please understand. No, Mom, it's not fair. All of my friends get to go out, like, every day. Well, you're not all your friends. I have to get to work now. I'm running late. I love you. I hate you! Oh, no. Ah, Mommy! Sissy. What happened to Mommy? Did you do that? I did. But you need to understand it was an accident. I accidentally said my last words to her. Ooh, mommy! Shh! You can't tell anyone about this, sissy. Or you'll go to foster care. And you'll never, ever see me again. Got it? Okay, okay, I won't tell anyone. Sissy, come on, it's time for school now. Okay, I'm ready. Sissy, remember. Shh! You're not gonna say anything about what happened to mom, right? I told you, I won't say it. Where did you put mommy anyways? She's in her bed. It's just like she's sleeping. Yeah, except she's not sleeping. Bae, I got you flowers. Thank you. I cheated on you. What? It happened last night. I just couldn't control myself. But don't worry, she meant nothing. You're the one I love. I hate you! Oh, no. Excuse me. I'm going to need to ask you a few questions. Why, officer? Your little sister mentioned to her teacher that something happened to your mother. Are you ready to have our first kiss? I'm so ready. Are you serious right now, bro? I can't have my first kiss now. Why not? Kissing's illegal. Brittany, Jake. Oh, hey, baby. Babe, not only are you cheating on me, but you're breaking the law. They low-key deserve that. How's your day been so far, girl? Not good, Sophie. My boyfriend cheated on me and then died. Darn, uh. Ah, uh, really get into it. Ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, uh, ah, uh, really get into it. Yeah. Sophie, stop dancing. Yeah, yeah. Sophie! Ah, uh, ah, uh, really get into it. Yeah. Sophie, stop dancing. Yeah, yeah. Sophie! Yeah, yeah. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't stop dancing. Sophie. Sophie, no! In marching and three days. Eugene, stop singing. Why? Because you're singing junk cook. You're going to make everyone in this classroom dance. In marching. And three days. Everyone, plug your ears. You won't regret me. Won't regret me. That's it. I can't do it anymore. I'm dancing. And three day. Yay, dance is not banned anymore. No. That trash bag is so cute. Thank you. I call it garbage chic. You should try it, Emma, because I can see everything. Not everything. I'm still wearing socks. No, Emma, you can't wear socks. Oh, thank goodness. No. We want to be free! Speak for yourself, Chad. Huh? Brianna, can I hold your hand? Uh, that's a little weird to me because we're not married yet, but okay. <laughs> Timmy, what the flip was that? You got shocked when you touched Timmy because he isn't your soulmate. 
When you touch someone who's not your soulmate, you get shocked. But if you touch your soulmate, magical sparks will fly. You're not my soulmate, Timmy. Get away from me. And you're stinky. But I love you. My love. Babe. Ouch, 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 ouch. 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 Babe, could I kiss you? Uh, yeah. Ow. That wasn't too bad. Babe. I can't do this anymore. You're not my soulmate, and I don't see sparks when I touch you. I just keep getting shocked, and it really hurts. Who cares if we're not soulmates? I love you. I love you too, but I can't be with you. <laughs> oh no, I really gotta get out of here. Hey, hey, wait. Oh no, I really gotta get out of here. Hey. Hey, wait! Stop running from me! You're my soulmate! I'm really out of shape. Brianna, is everything okay? My soulmate just ran away from me. Maybe I've seen him. What does he look like? He had on a black ski mask, so I couldn't see his face. And he was carrying a giant bag over his shoulder. Oh, and he was running away from me. He sounds like such a weirdo. Hey, baby. Hi, Jakey. I missed you so much. Jake, Brittany, why are you two holding hands? Because we're soulmates. When I was walking in the hallway, I noticed that Brittany dropped her book. I went to help her pick it up, and we accidentally touched hands, and magical sparks flew. Isn't it great? My ex and my best friends are soulmates. Great. It's not like we just broke up or anything. Bree, are you upset? No, no, it's really, it's great. It's great. Great. Class, has anyone seen a guy wearing a ski mask, carrying a bag over his shoulder? Yes, I saw him. That's my soul. Great, because the police are looking for him. I'm in love. I didn't see him anywhere. How did you and Grandpa meet, Grandma? <sighs> Oh, I love telling this story. It's one of my favorites. So back in the day, I was about 14 years old. So it was about time for me to get married. And I was just walking down the street and this guy came. He's about 52 years old. He grabbed me and says, I'm taking you along with me. And I was like, no, no, please don't. Don't take me home with you. And he did anyways. And I'm like, what about my parents? You need to go tell my parents. And he, he went and took me to my parents and says, I'm marrying this girl. They're like, thank goodness. About time. We've been waiting since she was like 10 years old to get married. So, and then he bought me a house. Back then, they only cost about two chestnuts. Not like nowadays. And he said, in this house, you're going to give me babies. At least 50. And I did what I, I did what I was told. And we've been in love ever since. What the? Timmy, let's play. Mother, may I play with Timmy? You may. Yay! Okay, let's throw our stuffed animals at each other. Timmy, you need to ask, Mother, may I? Why do I need to ask too? She already said you could play with me. You still need to ask. No, I don't. <gasps> Timmy, Timmy, you did in fact need to ask, Mother, may I? Mother? May I say Timmy no? You may. Timmy no! Mother, may I go to school? You may, but you must get there within five minutes. Ah! <sighs> Mother, may I go to class? You may not. You may stand there. Babe, let's walk to class together. I can't. Mother won't let me. Why not? She's such a... Shh! You may not talk badly about Mother. Brianna, what rhymes with fool? What rhymes with fool? School. Correct. That was easy. Speaking of school, Emily, hurry up. We're going to be late. I'm ready. Emily, what rhymes with orange? Orange, but nothing rhymes with orange. There's got to be something that rhymes with orange. Storage, porridge. Emily, they have to be actual words. Sporange? No, Emily, that's not a word. Correct. I got it. Oh. Awesome. Why aren't you girls at school yet? We're heading to school now, Mom. Mom, what rhymes with daughters? Daughters. That should be an easy word for you to rhyme. Right, Mom? I don't know. I can't think clearly today. I'm so tired. It's okay. You can do it. Just clear your head. Um, daughters. Mom. I can't. Mom, please. <laughs> Mommy. My mother. Brianna, what rhymes with mother? That is so messed up. Brianna, what rhymes with mother? That is so messed up. <laughs> mommy. Emily, stop crying. I'm trying to think. I want mommy. Mommy's gone, okay? She's gone and she's never coming back. Brother. Correct. <laughs> hey, Emily, I'm sorry I acted that way. I'll walk myself to school today. Don't follow me. Emily. Bree, you good? 
My mom couldn't rhyme the word this morning, and my sister won't even talk to me. So yeah, I'm not doing great. Brianna, what rhymes with sister? Miss her. Correct. Man, that's tough. Here, do my assignment for me. Brittany, what rhymes with assignment? Nothing rhymes with assignment because assignment isn't even a real word. Assignment is most definitely a real word. Assignment, hmm. Come on, Brittany, use your brain. I don't need to use my brain because I'm pretty. Brittany! Brianna, something happened to your sister. Brianna, what rhymes with lost? Brianna, what rhymes with lost? Your sister's school called. They said she never showed up to class. What? Do you know where she might be? Just give me a minute. I need to rhyme the word. Frost? Correct. I need to find my sister. I need to talk to you. Let me go. I need to find my sister. I want to get back together, babe. You cheated on me. Jake, what rhymes with cheated? You're not going anywhere. You're going to help me rhyme this word. Hot, hot. When you're hot, you were... Um, warm, did it? That's not a good hint. Give me a better one. During our relationship, you blank me. I cheated on you? You mistreated me. Emily? Emily, are you out here? I'm sorry I yelled at you. I love you. Sissy? Emily? I'm so glad you're here. I was so lost. Emily? What rhymes with love? It's your turn to play a game of truth or lie. Yay! Mommy, they said it's my turn to play a game. I love games so much. Sweetie, truth or lie is very dangerous. They'll give you a statement about someone you know, and you must say if it's a truth or a lie. And if you guess it wrong, you die. <coughs> Brianna, truth or lie? Your dad is coming back with the milk. Your dad is coming back with the milk. I think that is the truth because Daddy said he would come back with the milk, so he must be coming back with the milk, right? Sweetie, I can't tell you the answer, but Dad went to go get milk over a year ago now. Daddy's not coming back with the milk, is he? That's for you to decide. It was a lie. Bree! Sophie, hey! Truth or lie? Sophie makes fun of you for not having a dad behind your back. I just got a truth or lie. Sophie makes fun of you for not having a dad behind your back? You would never do that, right? Come on, Brianna, you know me. You can guess this right. Hey, Brianna, has your dad came home with the milk yet? <laughs> you run into the school out of breath and worried that you're going to be late for your first class of the day. Hey, who's saying that? Your best friend notices you as she's walking down the hall and says, Hey, you're running late too? Hey, you're running late too? Huh? You feel a little confused, but you nod and reply with, I am. I am? Well, we should really start heading to class. We're already late, your best friend suggests. Well, we should really start heading to class. We're already late. You both start walking. Blah, 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 blah. You begin to fall asleep during the teacher's lecture when suddenly the teacher asks you, Brianna, what's the answer to the question? Huh? Brianna, what's the answer to the question? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know the answer. Ha ha ha, she wasn't paying attention, Eugene scoffs. Ha ha ha, she wasn't paying attention. Suddenly, a suspicious man enters the school. No, no, no. The suspicious man begins making his way to your classroom. Brianna, is something wrong? We need to barricade that door now. What? I said now. Anna, let's play dolls. I can't, Sophie. I'm too tired. They only let us sleep one hour within 24 hours. I know. I'm so tired, too. I could fall asleep right now. Oh. Sophie, no. Sophie. <laughs> Sophie, you can't fall asleep. <laughs> Sophie, no. Go to sleep. Wake up. Wake up. Five more minutes. I'm awake. I'm awake. Hey, Timmy, do you think they'll let us sleep at hours anytime soon? I don't know. They haven't let us sleep all week. Class, you may have noticed they've been cutting back sleeping hours significantly. That is because they're trying to eliminate as many people as possible. Only those that can stay awake will survive. No! This isn't fair! They can't do this, right, Timmy? Oh. Timmy? I'm gonna fall asleep. Timmy! Hi, Mom, I'm going to... Okay, have fun at... There's my... It's my... I love... I love... You're truly the love of my... You're so... Stop it, babe, you're so... <laughs> I'll see you after class, baby. You can't finish your... Oh, no, I forgot! <laughs> no, he was the love of my... Brianna, what's the answer to? The answer's correct. The answer was, class, it's time to write your... Timmy, can I board your... Sure, here's my... 
No, you're... Oh, here's my... Is that what you... No, you're... What are you trying to? Pencil! You can't just say one, but consider it a full... Give me Mr. Snowman! I got it! <laughs> catch me if you can! Ricky! Yeah. What I catch you, Ricky? You're not gonna come after me? It says this action would have consequences. I don't want to find out what kind of consequence. Yeah, it could have a bad consequence, like Mr. Snowman dying. <gasps> Honey, would you like a ride to school? No, I'm fine, Mom. I'll just take the bus. Wait, I made you some lunch. Here. I could have just bought lunch at school, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Thanks for the lunch. Bree, want to come with us to throw Timmy in the fountain? Yeah. No, guys, I don't think that's a good idea. Help me! Hey, Brianna. Jake. You look amazing today. Thanks. Come closer. How about you and I skip class and go on a walk together? I would love... I would love to. Perfect. Mmm, yummy pepper. I like lots of pepper on my food. Brianna, no, stop pouring pepper. It's going to make me sneeze. Uh, no, Jimmy, you can't sneeze. If you sneeze, you'll die. Uh, I'm going to sneeze. No, Jimmy. Cousin died. Cousin died. More like cousin death. Huh? Jimmy, no! I can't just sneeze. Uh, uh. Brianna, your face is ugly. Jimmy, why did you say that? I was distracting you from sneezing, and it worked. Oh, <laughs> thank you then. Hey, Bri. Sophie, are you sick? It's just a COVID cold. Nothing serious. Well, what are you doing here? Are you trying to kill everyone? If people catch your cold, they're going to sneeze for sure. I haven't sneezed yet. I don't believe you. Uh, I didn't... Stay back. <laughs> Here's your textbook. Thanks, sir. Oh, why is it so dusty? Oh, no. I'm going to sneeze. Whoa, you all right there, Timmy? You're lucky I was there to save you. You saved me. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Timmy. We live, we love, we lie. Timmy, what are you seeing? That sounds terrible. Gibbity skibbity. Oh no, Timmy caught the mean disease. You have to keep your ears covered and get out of there. What are you saying? I can't hear you. I got him. We live. <laughs> Come on. Memes are a very infectious disease. If you hear someone saying mean sounds, you must plug your ears and get out of there immediately, or else you could be infected forever. <laughs> Hey, babe. Today, it's officially been 10 years since my brother Timmy died because of the meme disease. <laughs> it's been 10 years already? Huh? I said it's been 10 years already? Huh? I said it's been 10 years already? Huh? Huh? Oh, no. You caught the meme disease. Huh? Seriously? Only 10 lives today? I'm not going to have enough money to buy anything. Sweetie, wait. You must remember to never overspend your lives because if you spend more lives than you have, you'll die. Of course, Mom. I already know that. Hey, girl. Hey. How many lives did you get today? I only got 10 today. Well, you still got more than me. I only have one life. No way. You're broke. I know. It's so unfair. Look at Timmy over there. He gets millions of lives every single day. He's so rich. How is that even possible? I'd like to buy this, please. That'll cost you nine lives. Are you serious? Why does it cost so much? Don't blame me. Blame inflation. Do you still want it or not? Okay, fine. I'll take it. I'm starving. <sighs> oh, my bad. It actually cost ten lives. I need one more life. What? Can you give me a foot massage? Oh, no. Grandma, I really wish I could, but I really gotta get to school. Oh, no. I am always on the dinner table, but you don't get to eat me. What am I? Grandma, you have three tries to guess it right, or else... This is an easy one. Feet! No, Grandma, your feet should never be on the table. My dentures! No, Grandma, it's something you put food on. My hand! Thank goodness she's gone. She was giving me a headache. Grandpa! How could you say that about Grandma? I live in the ocean. I can live for a very long time. I'm a very large mammal. What am I? A large mammal? That's your grandma. Grandpa! <laughs> a dolphin? <coughs> a shark? <coughs> a whale? I got it. You sure it wasn't your grandma? <laughs> grandpa! I have two hands, but I cannot scratch myself. What am I? <laughs> your grandmother! Sweetie, there's a new trend. Twins? 
Wearing weaves in your hair? Yes, you have to put leaves in your hair right away. Whenever there's a new trend, you must follow the trend or else you die. Okay, Mommy, I'll go put weaves in my hair right now. Mommy, I don't want to wear this. I look so silly. I know it looks silly, but you have to do it. You must follow every single trend in order to fit in with society. Okay. <laughs> Sophie, what the flip is this? It's the new dance trend. Hurry, Sophie, show me the dance. A new trend already? Trends come and go really fast. Bye, Sophie, I gotta go. Hey, Timmy. You sound horrible. Why aren't you singing? Because I don't want to follow this trend. Miss Applewood, the results are back. You only have a few days left to live. Oh, Grandma. Womp, womp. Did you just say womp, womp? You'll be gone forever. Look at me. I'm in my dying era. <laughs> wait, wait. Hold that. Are you recording me? Yes, this is going to make great content. It will go viral for sure. Keep crying. I am crying. Give it out! I am just a girl. What is she doing? Victor, you act like I did this? You don't own me. It looks like she has a classic case of brain rot. But just no. Brain rot is very common amongst our generation. Get ready with me to break out of the nursing home. No! What is above my head? Soulmate's name blank, 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 blank. You have to guess letters of your soulmate's name or just guess the name. And if you guess it right, you'll meet him. I'm going to guess the letter J. It starts with a J. Oh, that means you're not my soulmate. Maybe it's Jason Derulo. It's not Jason Derulo. Why does it say strike one? That's because you can only guess your soulmate's name or the letters of his name wrong 10 times. After 10 strikes, you're out and you'll never, ever meet your soulmate. That's scary. Oh, no. I'm not going to guess my soulmate's name again until I'm older. I don't want to. Guess what? I guessed my soulmate's name correctly. That means I'll meet him soon. That's great. Have you guessed your soulmate's name yet? No. I haven't guessed my soulmate's name since I was six. I don't want to. Class, we have a new student. Everyone meet Jimmy. Is that my? Hey, mind if I sit here? Hi, Jimmy! I'm off to school now, Dad. Are you visiting your mother's grave this morning? Of course. I see her every day. I never miss a day. Sweetie, did you get a Christmas wish this year? Not this year. Maybe I'll get lucky next year. I brought you a rose today, Mom. I love you. I'll see you again tomorrow. Hey, girly. Um, you good? I got a Christmas wish this year. No fair, I've never gotten a Christmas wish. I'd wish for a billion dollars. What are you gonna wish for? I'm not sure yet. Mom, I brought you a black rose today. I wish for my mom to come back alive. Dad, you'll never guess what I- Hi, sweetie. Mom, where's dad? He had to go for good. <laughs> You're not the mom I remember. Darling, <coughs> I'm not doing well. There's one thing I must give you before I go. What is this, an old telephone? I don't want it because you're going to get better. You need to promise me you'll keep that telephone with you wherever you go. I love you. Also, there's one more extremely important thing you must know about that phone. It, it. Mom? Mom! <coughs> doctor, doctor! <coughs> How is it ringing? It's not even plugged in. <coughs> Hello? And that's why the Roman Empire... Brianna, no giant telephones in class. Sorry, sir. Hello? Stop calling me! That's it, Brianna. Go to detention now! You're going to detention too? Yeah. What? Don't go to detention. Mom? I'm going to school now, Mom. Wait, sweetie. You almost forgot your lunch. Thanks! Mom! Your last kiss was Mr. Stevens? What about dad? I'm sorry, sweetie. I know he's your principal. Please don't tell your father. Please. Bree, guess what? Sophie. No way. You had your first kiss? And it was Chad? Why didn't you tell me? I was going to. Wow, would you look at that? Your last kiss was Jake. Obviously, he is your boyfriend. Brianna, wait. Oh, hey, Chad. You look so beautiful today. 
I need to tell you, I've been in love with you since the second grade. Chad, you're Jake's best friend, and Sophie... You got something on the corner of your mouth. Let me get it for you. Okay. Chad, why did you just kiss me? I'm sorry, I... Now no one can touch me or they'll know we kissed! Bree! Are you running late to class, too? Hold my hand, babe. Let's work together. Stay back! I don't get it, Stephanie. I've been alive 17 years, and no one's ever had a crush on me. If I don't get a crush within the next year, I'll be dead. Let me tell you a little secret about how I got all my crushes, Brianna. Mewing. Mew? Like the Pokemon? No, like model face. Just press your tongue to the roof of your mouth, and there's your model face. Whoa! Did it work? You're going to get so many crushes for sure. Jake's over there! Go now! Go! Okay! Hi, Jake! Gross! Brianna, what are you doing here? Get out of here now! Right, mewing. Oh my, you are the love of my life. Give me your number right now, Brianna. <laughs> no! Dude, dude, man. Ah! Hey, boys! Please go away. Whoa! Brianna, you seem different today. Steph, the mewing has been working great. I got so many new crushes. What you bring for lunch? I got- You can't sit at our table. We don't allow pick me's here. Jason was Stephanie's crush, and you flirted with him. Steph? Get ready with me for my funeral. Stop. Don't talk to me. Lose or lay Miss Applewood! I'm family in a TikTok, Susan! It's time to take your medicine. Stop. Don't talk to me. Get ready with me to not take my medication. Get ready with me to divorce my husband. Jimmy, it is not working out, babe. Miss Applewood, if you don't take your medicine, you'll die. I'm not taking my medication, Pookie. I'm not taking my medication. Why not? It's the way you act. 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 Crush? Sophie, what is this above my head? Oh, you didn't know? Everyone's crushes are going to be revealed today for Valentine's Day. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't good. Timmy can't find out who I have a crush on. Why not? Because he's my best friend. It's going to make things weird. Why would it make things weird? Do you like Timmy? Sophie, I have a secret to tell you. Psst, 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 psst. <gasps> no way, really? Hey, Brianna. Ah! I've been trying to find you all morning. Is everything okay? I gotta go! Brianna, Timmy was looking for you. He asked where you are. Well, tell him I'm in North Korea. Why would I tell him that? Sophie, you have a crush on Eugene? <laughs> Sophie, I have a crush on you too, but Eugenie is my girlfriend, so I can't be with you. You like another girl? Ooh. Why have you been avoiding me? I'm sorry, Timmy, but you can't know who I have a crush on. No way. Timmy, you have a crush on me? Yeah, I... Brianna, you have a crush on my dad? 